We always try to cross our limits without knowing the consequences. That is human nature. Moreover, we don't know the future. We can only assume it. It is true for the robot partners also. There is no doubt that adult robots are becoming increasingly sophisticated. These machines no longer just perform basic tasks like cleaning or lifting. They're evolving to mimic human-like abilities, from emotional interactions to complex decision-making. But here's the big question, can robots, designed to resemble adults in both function and form, truly transcend their physical capabilities? What does it mean for a robot to go beyond physicality? Let's explore this concept in today's video. set a channel for intelligent and curious people like you. Before we proceed, let me tell you one thing. If you have not subscribed yet, please subscribe. It means a lot to me. And if you have already subscribed, tons of thanks for your support. If you're fascinated by robots and the future of human-robot interaction, you're in for a treat. Today, we're diving deep into the concept of robots going beyond physicality. In fact, the focus isn't just on how they look or move, but also on how they think, feel, and engage with us on a more profound level. As technology advances, robots are increasingly being designed to not only perform mechanical tasks, but to engage with humans on a cognitive and emotional level. And this shift has sparked a new conversation in the world of robotics. What lies beyond the physical? How can robots bridge the gap between mind and machine? To understand if you're fascinated by robots and the future of human-robot interaction, you're in for a treat. Today, we're diving deep into the concept of robots going beyond physicality. In fact, the focus isn't just on how they look or move, but also on how they think, feel, and engage with us on a more profound level. As technology advances, Robots are increasingly being designed to not only perform mechanical tasks, but to engage with humans on a cognitive and emotional level. And this shift has sparked a new conversation in the world of robotics. What lies beyond the physical? How can robots bridge the gap between mind and machine? To understand the concept, let us try to think about the evolution of robots beyond physical tasks. In the past, robots were limited to specific tasks, often repetitive and physically demanding work like welding, assembly, or moving objects. Think about the robotic arms in manufacturing plants. But as we move into the 21st century, robotics has gone far beyond just strength and precision. Take Atlas, for example. A robot developed by Boston Dynamics, capable of performing parkour and intricate movements. While its physicality is impressive, this is just one piece of the puzzle. The next step is developing robots that can interact with us on cognitive, emotional, and social levels. So, what does it mean for robots to go beyond physicality? It's about moving towards robots that are not just tools but companions. They are machines capable of understanding, interpreting, and even influencing human emotions, decisions, and behaviors. Next comes the concept of cognitive and emotional robotics. One major area where robots are going beyond physicality is in emotional interaction. This is the foundation of a field known as social robotics. Think about researchers like Sherry Tickle. She is a professor at MIT and has explored how robots can act as companions, helping alleviate feelings of loneliness and providing emotional support. In her groundbreaking book Alone Together, Tuchel discusses how robots are increasingly capable of filling emotional roles. Yes, sometimes even acting as surrogates for human connection. She argues that robots could become a part of the social fabric in our everyday lives, offering empathy and understanding in ways that go far beyond mere automation. Take Paro, for example. A therapeutic robot used in hospitals and nursing homes 
designed to resemble a baby seal. Studies show that interactions with Paro have positive psychological effects on patients, especially the elderly, by reducing stress and anxiety. Paro's ability to elicit emotional responses in humans highlights how robots can transcend physicality to become more attuned to human needs. Emotionally and socially, this isn't just about programming actions. It's about understanding and responding to human emotions. Subsequently, we need to take care of the theories of embodiment and cognition in robotics. To understand how robots can go beyond their physical capabilities, we need to delve into the concept of embodiment. Embodiment theory, as explored by philosophers like Rodney Brooks, suggests that intelligent behavior emerges not just from the brain but from the interaction between the body and the environment. Rodney Brooks, one of the pioneers in robotics, argues in his work that intelligence arises from the interaction between the robot's physical form and its surroundings. This is a fundamental shift in how we think about robotics. It's not just about making a machine that looks like a human. It's about designing machines that can adapt, learn, and understand their environment. These robots aren't following preset instructions. They're interacting with the world, adjusting their behavior based on sensory input. This kind of adaptive, embodied cognition is at the core of what it means for robots to be more than just physical entities. Researchers Stefano Nolfi and Dario Floriano have explored this in their work, which delves into how robots can learn and adapt through embodied cognition. Actually, it enhances their ability to process information and respond to complex stimuli in real time. As robots continue to evolve, we must ask, what is the future of robots beyond physicality? Can they achieve true understanding and empathy? And more importantly, should they? These questions bring us to a critical crossroads where technology, ethics, and human interaction intersect. Researchers like Kate Darling, a scholar at the MIT Media Lab, have raised important ethical questions surrounding robots that simulate emotional connections. If robots can develop social bonds with humans, does that mean they have the potential to exploit our emotions? Are we ready for machines that may emotionally manipulate us, even if unintentionally? Kate Darling's work highlights the responsibility we have in designing robots that are not only functional but also ethical. Moreover, it keeps human dignity and safety in mind as robots become more integrated into our lives. To conclude, robots are undoubtedly moving beyond their physical forms. As they become more advanced, we're seeing the development of machines that can understand, adapt to, and even form emotional bonds with humans. The future is incredibly exciting, but it's also filled with complex ethical challenges. It's up to us as designers, engineers, and thinkers to guide the evolution of these machines responsibly. Thanks for joining me in this deep dive into adult robots and the concept of going beyond physicality. If you're as fascinated by this field as I am, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more insights into the cutting edge of robotics and AI. And, as always, leave your thoughts on this topic in the comments. What do you think the future holds for human-robot relationships? Stay curious, stay informed, and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you for joining us on this journey. Let's continue this conversation in the comments below. If you liked the video, please hit the bell icon to get notified and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more insights. Keep watching Wooden Slate. See you in the next video. Till then, goodbye, take care, and stay safe.